Hello everyone, welcome to this video and uh, well without further ado <laughs> let me show you what I've got because I got something pretty cool in my opinion anyway what are your thoughts leave in the comment but first watch this this without a doubt is one of the best phone hands that I had so I'll start directly with the non Nokia ones which is the Sony Ericsson W850i two of them one does not start and one has a lock code Yay! But for parts, they're very good. Then, then I have this Nokia 6170. Tested it, it works. I don't remember exactly 500 talk tower, something like that it was. Well, it has a little problem here. The button is snapped that holds the battery cover. But on this one, I have a battery cover. Yay! <laughs> and I have another phone like this, which works just fine. And doesn't have a missing button here, so... I'm thinking making a fully functional one out of two. We'll see. Then a Nokia made in my country, the 7020A2. Like the hinge mechanism, it just pulls it out of your hand. And the phone works. I tested it, it's awesome. And it has a protective screen over the, well, screen, which is nice. If the D pad wasn't cracked here it would have been awesome but not so bad with a new body share it would look awesome then a Nokia 6680 that works just fine I turn it on it was working nicely no problems with it except for with well it's appearance I do have a new new buttons for it but not a very good body share I'm thinking of completely disassembling this one and painting it what do you think then a Nokia 3587i I've never seen this Nokia before It has an extendable antenna but uh, Well, it, it's missing the It's missing the top part so It needs a little help <laughs> I turn it on, it works The thing I don't understand Here's where you put the SIM card Is this how it's supposed to look? Was it supposed to have pins or there's Actually, you know what? I am going to try it out and hope it works. I know it works. I turn it on without a SIM card. Searching for service, eh? I think the pins are missing from it. I will look to adapt some. If, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> but the phone works. If it's missing the pins, I can just adapt some. I hope. But I'm being honest now, I never seen this model, but it's looking pretty nice actually. Maybe I can, you know, put some pins in it. Then I have not one, but two Nokia E60 and they both work and of course the one with the more busted body shell has less talk towers I don't remember how many but they both work and they both are missing the battery cover but I have a swapped body shell here which is also scratched but it has the battery cover and I'm also thinking of buying a grey spray preparing and painting this of course after I completely disassemble it what are your thoughts? Should I do it? I'm very into doing that. Now, last but not least, a phone that I've been looking for for some time now. Well, I'm looking for a lot of phones, but this one, this one. This is the Nokia 7110. Well, the cover over the antenna is busted, but I can put it from another Nokia. This mechanism works, only that it stops a little at the bottom. When I first took it in my hand, it, it wasn't opening much just like this, I think. And I've just forced it a little, and now it works better. Let's turn it on. Not like that. It 
This is such a huge screen. I like it. Well, for it, the for this one. Okay. Its main problem is the scroll button. Problem being that, well, I can scroll. It has a position in which it works a bit. Then it won't work at all. So I'm thinking of disassembling this phone and maybe I can make it work. Other than that, the phone is pretty cool. And it's in very good condition. That's it for today's hunt. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. What are your thoughts? Is this a good find or not? In my opinion, I would say that it's a very good find. What are your thoughts? I'm really interested. What, what do you think of this find? I really like this phone. The next video will definitely be with me disassembling this phone and trying to make the scroll button work. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And maybe consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. Well, my channel and me emotionally. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you next time. I wish you a very awesome day just like yourselves. And all the best. Bye-bye.